Support for the family of fallen officer Dia continues to pour in tonight. Groups are stepping up to raise money from every corner of our community. Michael Tater talking to the organizer of a GoFundMe and the Toledo Police Union chief about this overwhelming support. And tonight, Michael, I hear the goal for that GoFundMe has been changed. That's right, Tyler. Things have changed with fund run, fundraising efforts in a large way in just the past 24 hours. I met once again with Matthew Klenner, who met Dia just once last month, doing what everyone says he did best, helping people. Klenner set up this GoFundMe uh, immediately after he heard the news, and he recently changed the goal to $1 million, saying it's about outreach and showing the community how much he meant as a police officer and as a person. At this hour, it's gained almost $150,000, and it continues to grow. Unless you have been a police officer, you really, you really don't know what we have to go through. The wife and children of Officer Dio watched on along with hundreds from the community and thousands who have commented online to pay their respects. The police department is the rock. They're, they're steady, and I think that a break in that rock uh, kind of brings the community as a whole just sets them back. Toledo Police Union President Michael Haynes said Officer Dia was well liked around the department and always willing to help people. Nothing really that I can add that really hasn't already been put out there. Uh, you know, a wonderful guy, lighthearted, you know, I mean, truly the epitome of a police officer. A GoFundMe started for his family has collected over $140,000 so far. Matthew Klenner, who set up the account, only met Dia once, but he knew he was a good person. It's not about the money. Um, it was about the outreach and to uh, let people understand basically that, you know, um, not all cops are bad. And the outreach can be seen far and wide. The comments on the GoFundMe coming from law enforcement and strangers from all across the country. Kleinert says Dia went above and beyond for his community, playing with kids in the neighborhoods, helping people who didn't ask for his help. And he gave his life checking on the safety of someone else. You know, that kind of stuff right there is something that would uh, a regular everyday eight to five cop from a superhero cop. And uh, he is most definitely a superhero cop. A superhero cop indeed. Uh, as you heard Officer Haynes say there that he was the epitome of what a police officer should be. And that's what Kleiner told me earlier today, too. He was the type of cop that everyone should aspire to. And Officer Haynes also told me that he's heard the department may be considering retiring his badge or his unit number in his memory. We have that GoFundMe posted at WTOL.com, as well as many ways that the community has stepped up and you can step up to help his family in their greatest time of need. For now, live in downtown Toledo tonight, Michael Tater, WTOL 11.